Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And just to remind you that my website www.jasonnewland.com is now a podcast with all of my recordings all categorised and also ad free so that's it now this is going to be a recording for anger so I don't know about you but when I get angry I get stressed I feel I feel physically ill. I get heart palpitations. I feel a bit shaky. Um, It feels very uncomfortable. And I don't enjoy it. Now, I know some people love being angry. So this (laughs) this recording is not for those. This is not for someone that enjoys being angry. This is for somebody who's generally a gentle person and you know I, I found I find myself I I'll be honest, I'm doing this recording whilst I'm in an angry mood. Specifically to do the recording to do the technique with you or do it for your entertainment so then you can do it yourself now I'm feeling anger towards a person so what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on that person this is going to be the technique you can change the way you do it if you like But I'm going to actually use a real life person in my mind. Think about that person. And some of the things I say are going to be, you could say they're negative. And it goes a little bit against the positive vibe that is usually within these recordings. But there's a reason for this. It's because I think it's good to push it to the extreme, to get in touch with the emotion, to allow the emotion to be heard, to be felt, to be experienced, instead of pushing it away. And then notice how it changes when you do what I'm about to do, which is play around with it. So, I'm going to start now. I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to get on with it. And I'm going to focus on that person who I feel angry about right now. Uh, I'm not going to go actually over the top with what I'm saying. But I'm just going to keep it fairly clean. However... You can use whatever words you choose to use when you do it yourself. Of course, you can play along with me and think of someone that you're angry at. And we're just going to be using more softer language in this recording than maybe you would choose yourself. So, and the point of this is not to get yourself more angry. That is not the point. That's something that people that enjoy getting angry love doing. It takes effort to keep anger going. Because it naturally subsides. It already has started to subside within me. And this is from something 20 minutes ago. So... There's, there's loads of ways to do this, but I'm just gonna. This is just gonna be a technique 
that you can use. So start off, and you can say this out loud, there's no one else around. Ideally do it when there's no one else around, and do it out loud as well. It makes it more fun. And I'm going to start with... I can't stand you. So talk at the person. Think of the person. I cannot stand you. You could go as far as I hate you. I effing hate you. I hate you. And put some vermin into it. Vemin, venim, venimin, venim into it. I hate like that. And it's, as I said, it's something different to what we normally do. So now, you said it a few times. Get in touch with that feeling. Notice where it is in your body. Notice what level it is. You know, one to ten on the level of anger, anxiety, stress whatever you want to call it, whatever feeling, it could be a mixture of those things. I hate you. I can't stand you. You disgust me. Again, this is not nice things to say, but it be might be how you feel towards that person. Doesn't mean you have to say it to them, but you're saying it to you're saying it to them, but, you know, in your imagination, you're thinking of them, you're saying it out loud, but you're not actually with them. And then we change it to, I hate you. So you just change your voice a little bit. Just a little bit. Instead of, I hate, you change it a little bit. I hate you. I hate you. Now you can start stressing the I. I hate you. Okay, so do that now. Stretch the I. I hate you. I Now we're going to stress the hate word. So, I hate you. Remember to think about the person as you're saying it. I hate you. You. One more time. I hate you. I think now we can stretch the you. So, ready? Remembering to think of the person's face in your mind as you say it. I hate you. <laughs> Again, remember to visualize the person's face in your mind. I hate you. time just for fun I hate you now just notice what level of uh, 
anger you have towards that person. Notice how it's changed. But we haven't finished though, we're still going to do more. So as you focus on that person, this time you're going to do it with a high-pitched voice. But just normally, you know, just, I hate you. It's your turn. Remember to focus on the person's voice, the person's uh, face. I hate you. You could even go higher. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I don't know how high you can go, but remembering to focus on the person's face in your mind. And now, I want you to talk like a dog. So I want you to woof it. <laughs> woof it? Bark it. I don't know. So, I hate you. I hate you. Remember to you know, focus on the person's face. You can have a deep voice like, I hate you. I hate you. Or it could be a higher pitch like, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Always, you know, focusing on the, the person's silly face as you're. I hate you towards them. And now we're going to do it like a cat. In a cat's voice, meowing. And I know it sounded nothing like a cat, but the other thing didn't sound like a dog either. So, but you know, so don't have a go at me. Stop picking on me. Right, do it again. Remember to focus on that person's face. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Remember, you got to do the silly voice with me. Otherwise, it don't work. Oh, hey, oh, hey, Sounds nothing like a cat, does it? So what other animals? A ferret. Let's do Andre the ferret. My little boy Andre. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> okay, so see if you can do that. Remember to, to focus on the person. The person's f funny face. As you say it like. I hate you. The is at the end. That's the noise he makes sometimes when he's um, on date night. One more time. I hate you. So, just get in touch with the a level of anger that's left, if any, if any's left, and when you focus and think about that person's face. Notice how you feel different. And we're going to now move it to different different words to uh, you're annoying. Let's soften it a little bit. You're annoying. So we'll do this with your tongue sticking out of your mouth. It's not the easiest thing to do. Just make it, just be careful. Like, you don't want to bite your tongue or anything. Just but just talk like that with your tongue out of your mouth. So first of all we're gonna say you're annoying. 
Blue are annoying. <laughs> Blue are annoying. And now we're going to say it, but you've got to flap your tongue around. So basically, you're moving your tongue from the top lip to the bottom lip continuously as you're talking. You are annoying. Remember to focus on the person's funny face. One more time. And now we're going to do a really. Yeah, we do. We we'll do a do one where you hold your tongue at the top of your mouth, maybe behind your teeth at the top of your mouth, or just the roof of your mouth, basically. And you're going to talk like that. So this time, instead of you're annoying, uh, maybe just say you're a silly Billy. You're a silly Billy. Okay, focus on their face, put your tongue against, press it against the roof of your mouth, I'm pressing it against the backs of the top of my teeth, uh, the top teeth, just going, okay, so, you're a silly Billy, you are a silly Billy, <laughs> you are a silly Billy. You are a silly Billy. Remember to focus on their funny face. You are a silly Billy. Right, now we're going to continue to focus on their face. This time we're going to say something different. Uh, okay. Your eyebrows are made of poo. Okay, your eyebrows are made of poo. So that's the next thing to say. But this time we're going to do it in a silly, uh, like frantic voice. Uh, like a, a witch, you know, a witch from the uh, Disney movie. Oh, like that. <laughs> I sound more like a horse, I know, but anyway. Your, uh, okay, right, so your eyebrows are made of poo. Remember to focus on the person. Right, here we go. Just a silly voice, really. Your eyebrows are made of poo. Again, you can do your own version of this, it doesn't have to be exactly the same voice because I'm not sure what voice that is. Your eyebrows are made of poo. Remember to focus on their funny face. The person that, you, you, that used to bother you but now I don't know what they are anymore but yeah. your eyebrows are made of poo. Maybe you can look at that face in your mind and see poo where the eyebrows used to be. Oh. That's weird. So then you can say, well... <laughs> you can say the same thing in a different voice. So you could be a, a really, really, really elderly person. You know... Someone that's maybe a hundred and twenty years old. Your eyebrows are made of poo. Your, your eyebrows are made of poo. Or it could be an, an elderly lady. Your eyebrows are made of poo. Clearly, I've never met many, many elderly people, because no one sounds like that. Never mind. And 
the next thing would be you have boiled eggs for eyes yeah boiled eggs for eyes so if you look, focus on the, the face just imagine I've actually got boiled eggs instead of eyes and again it could just be whatever voice you can just but you have boiled eggs for eyes or it could be you have boiled eggs for eyes mm. that was a bit of a Mick Jagger feel there wasn't it Mm. Or you could sing it. You could do a Bob Dylan, like, You have bald eggs for eyes. Or not, you know, it's up to you. Uh, what other things? So now with the very last the thing we're going to say as you focus on that person's face their funny face you're going to look at them and you think you're going to just look at them and you're going to say your ears smelled like ball bags your ears smell like a ball bag ready? We're doing a funny voice though so as you focus, remember to focus, this is the last one. Your ears smell like a ball bag. That's one one you could do. Or you, your ears smell like a ball bag. So that could be another one. Or, or you could do it pervy. I don't know, it's up to you. Oh, your ears. Mm, they smell like a ball bag. So... As you can see, just get a sense of where you are in your anger now with that person. If you've got any anger left. And it's a silly thing to do, but it's a bit of fun. And you can do it. You haven't got to do all the silly voices I do, but you can do it along with me for fun. Or you can do your own. You might have your own repertoire. And just get in touch with how you're feeling. And uh, remember... To be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. And do something nice for yourself today. Lots of love. Bye.